Welcome back to the channel everybody. So as you can see we got some live rats here and we're gonna do a live feeding So hopefully you guys don't mind that and in no way is this a glorification of feeding live some of these new babies that I've gotten are still on live I'm gonna be trying to get them swapped over to either pre-killed then frozen thawed like I've done with every other snake But as of now, I just want them to eat and be healthy and I don't like starving these snakes just to get them on frozen thawed, which is what a lot of people do and this girl is massive. She's 2022. She's an orange dream, yellow belly, Mojave, blackhead pied. That's a lot. And uh, this girl is just really, really pretty. Really big for 2022. She's almost 400 grams. So we're going to be feeding her a weaned rats. And I do have a pen just in case anything weird happens. And, you know, we don't want these snakes to get damaged in any way. Some of these are very expensive. Like this girl, this girl is about $3,500 and we do not want her to get bit, chewed up, or get any infections from a rat bite. So if a rat does decide to try to bite, have it on a rat, you just stick this little pen in between the rat's teeth and hopefully you don't have any issues. But on weans, they really shouldn't bite and if they do bite, it's really not going to damage or break the scales. You really have to be cautious when you get into the mediums. Uh, those, those, that's when they can really do a lot of damage. And by then, they really should be um, on frozen thawed by then. Some of these girls do take a little bit of time to eat. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. But getting this new 5540 rack has been phenomenal. I would suggest it to anybody. Even though some people think that this is a little too small. I, I agree that some people like the bigger tanks, which is fine. You know, everybody has their different setups. But we might just put her back in the tub or the tub back in the rack and uh, just kind of see what happens. But I, th I don't know if this girl would eat frozen thawed or not. But this girl needs, or this mouse needs to, there we go, there we go. Anytime now before this rat gets away. Cause she's trying to jump out. <laughs> this is the annoying part about feeding live. This is what I don't like. So this is definitely not gonna work. So put her back. We'll put you back since you don't really want to feel comfortable eating. We'll toss you in later so I can supervise and not waste too much time. But we'll just go down the list. So we got a vanilla spot nose clown. This girl, or this boy, sorry, this is a male. This male looks phenomenal. Really, really pretty snake. And this one will be on a larger rat pup. There we go. Hopefully it eats. I don't know why they're always so scared of rats. There we go. No problems with this. You can see this one does have some pretty large teeth on it, but no problems, no injuries on the snake on that one. So we can move on. So that one's in shed. And we'll feed this chocolate leopard red stripe clown. This girl is gorgeous. You can see how tiny she is. Very new snake. And we'll give her a small wrap up. So the smallest one that we have in here looks like this one. So we'll go in here and I know some people think, man, that's a huge meal, but they can definitely eat without any issues, a wrap up straight out of the egg. And I would encourage that because you do not want a snake that's eating mice forever. And there's a little bit of pee back there, but I'll get that out in a little bit. So we'll put this girl over here. Sorry, this is not the most exciting video and they're not really doing very much, but uh, we'll see what happens. So it kind of takes them a while to figure out the scent. Plus they got a big old light bulb in their eyeballs. And there we go. I think she's caught the scent, but this girl does look gorgeous. And we'll see the difference here soon between what Red Stripe does with the chocolate um, and then with the chocolate with no Red Stripe. So that's actually a perfect size for a newborn. And I've seen people feed them mice because they think rats are too big and then they get stuck on mice forever and then they take forever to grow. Especially if it's a female, you want the females to get nice and plump if you're wanting to breed. And then you can breed them a lot sooner, well, healthier and sooner. So this girl right here, we'll get a wrap up, a bigger wrap up. This is a Enchi Clown Pied. Really, really pretty snake. And I think, I really think she could do a little bit bigger than a wrap up, but I have these weans that are way too big. 
that one might be a good size, but that's an expensive snake, so we don't want any regurgitation issues. So we're just gonna put this right there. Perfect. So the rat pups do have teeth, but their jaws are not powerful enough to break the scales on the snakes. So we'll let her eat. Very excited for her in the future. I don't know if I'm gonna get um, a het, like a clown het pied or a pied het clown, or just go with a visual because the prices on all these snakes are, you know, coming down a lot. This girl's gorgeous. And you really need the right lighting to see some of the colorations in her. She's so pretty. A lot of nice whites come at the sides, nice oranges. I think, I don't know if she's going into shed or not because she's looking a little dull today. But sometimes their colors do flame up a little bit. We'll give her a nice little wrap up as well. She's been eating really good for me. And then we'll just see what happens. So, there we go. And again, no problem. So, we'll let her eat. We'll go over this Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied. I love leopard in pieds and in clowns. I basically just like leopard in everything. So that's a pretty big girl. She could definitely use a pretty big meal. So this is where I would want to be a little bit more cautious, just in case. So this is where it gets tricky when the racket's in the back, because when you stick your hands in here to try to swoop them around, then they uh, might strike at you. So be prepared for a feeding strike if something weird happens. But this little mouse should, I mean, rats are smart, so you kind of got to coax them along because I think they know what's about to happen, unfortunately. So this is the, I like the green eyes on her. I just like the bold patterns down the back, a lot of pattern. And I don't know, I don't bore you guys to death with this, but it always seems neither one of them know what to do. <laughs> it's kind of like I've been watching these. I've been watching a video on uh, I think it was Netflix or Disney about the deadliest snakes, and then they're saying boas and anacondas eat people and stuff like that. And it's like, um. I really don't know if I believe that because they're too scared to even try to eat a rat. So, them trying to go after a human, that's a little interesting. But I don't want to agitate the rat because then it gets mad and wants to defend itself even more. So, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll just put that away. And then here's a chocolate. So, here's a chocolate leopard clown with no red stripe. So, you can definitely see the difference on how bold... Just a regular chocolate leopard is, which is phenomenal. A lot of pattern on the head, and that red stripe really kind of fades out the color on the chocolates. But still, both of them are just really, really nice snakes. And then this one's going to go ahead and get a rat pup as well. So, I don't really like holding these because they could miss and bite me. But... We'll see if uh, he, or I mean she, nope, this is a male. I get so confused. I got too many females, not enough males, but we'll see what happens. But I do like the chocolate stuff and I'm really glad I was able to invest into uh, two chocolate clowns, the male and the female. Hopefully put these together, but I really want to put a spot nose with the chocolate leopard and try to hit that dark night. Uh, but we'll see what happens. And then, yeah, possibly hit chocolate Batmans with that as well. So we're going to leave that rat pup in there because they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so this is the problem that I don't like with live feeding. It just takes so long. And then when they're on frozen thawed, you guys see me feeding the frozen thawed. They eat so quickly. And you got to do this. You got to monitor them. Oh, there we go. So that was a nice bite. Nice little wrap. And then when they're on this size, I don't mind. Picking them up, making sure there's just no problems with them at all. And then we'll move down here. So this is a Batman. It's a female Batman, possible red stripe. I know red stripe can be super difficult to tell on a lot of these snakes. So this is one snake that I will send a shed into the, uh, the genetic testing just to see what happens. 
We'll give her just a little bit. And this girl is feisty. Like, this girl is super snappy, super agitated all the time. And she definitely tried to bite me more than a handful of times trying to get pictures with her. So we'll just let her do what she needs to do. This is an orange dream, yellow belly, and she pie. She's gonna get a rat pup as well. Ooh, somebody just ate. There we go. So, ah, uh, we gotta check. And looks like she's kinda getting her mouth in there, so we'll do this. Right there. I don't think that would really hurt her too much, but this is one of the snakes that I really, really need to get off of live because these uh, rodents are getting just a little bit bigger. So, should be enough. No, not yet. I really don't think at a wean they can break the skin too much. They might be, they might leave some marks, but I don't think they're going to break the skin at all on them. And you can see that bottom tooth right there is kind of bothering me. So, I think she'll be okay. She'll be all right. If not, they heal up in about a shred or two, but nothing to be too worried about on that size. But again, I really, really, really want to get them on frozen throw because this is just a mess. All right, we're trying to feed this Batman right here, the Batgirl. And hopefully we can get her to eat without her biting me on accident. There you go. Now scooch this way. There you go, just a little bit more. There you go, so close. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you not eating? Ah, oh, the joys of ball pythons. What a, what a treat. So we'll try to feed this girl right here, kind of lay her over the edge. Although, watch her smash her face <laughs> right into the wall. And then we got bigger problems. There we go, perfect. So, not wanting to hurt the mouse intentionally on that. Now we'll come over here and we'll feed the albino pies. So you can see how tiny these girls are, and then we're gonna feed her a nice fat wrap up. So she's been on these for last two, three meals, and uh, no problems. If you guys are wondering if uh, they're a little too big, they're definitely not because they ate them and uh, held them down without any problems. Let's just kind of dangle her on the edge and go down just slightly. There you go, pick up the scents. Are you hungry? Want to eat just a little? There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you'll eat, I guess, whenever you want to. So we'll check. There we go. This girl's eating just fine. No problems so far or at all, which is nice. So just a little bit of a different style video. And we'll check out this one once again, the chocolate leopard to the chocolate leopard red stripe. I don't know what she's doing. She's doing something with her tail, but gorgeous snakes. And then this girl right here, I'll just toss the rat in here and monitor it off camera because that's going to get just a little bit boring. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Just something a little bit different. And uh, I think the next feeding, I am just going to do pre-killed and then try to offer them like that. But I hate to waste a rat and I'd hate to waste money on pre-killed if they don't eat them. I don't know if they needed a couple more meals of live. Normally I give all the other ones that I've had like a month of live and then transition them out. But uh, we'll see what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Thank you for the support and I'll see you guys on the next video.